Howdy, and welcome back to the Texas Bucket List. You know, there's nothing like hearing the strumming of a guitar, especially when that instrument is made right here in Texas. And over in Sulphur Springs, there is a unique craftsman who's trying to keep that tradition alive, despite the tough task of keeping things in tune. <laughs> Along Main Street in Sulphur Springs sits a house. It's home to Bob Casey. But to find Bob, you'll have to go way in the back, to the old dairy barn, to spot the aging artisan. Well into his 80s, Bob is fighting father time to keep his craft of acoustic guitars alive and well. I'll be, what, 83 okay. this coming August, and I feel every one of them. <laughs> <laughs> These pieces of wood come together to make a beautiful sound, and that sweet serenade of strings provides the tempo that keeps him ticking. I'm still down here and I'm still kicking. I just don't kick as hard as I used to. <laughs> Since 1989, Bob has been building these guitars that have a long lineage, and it all starts with Stuart Mossman. I did not design a guitar, Stuart Mossman did. I'm a good mechanic. Mossman guitars became popular in the 1970s with artists like John Denver, Cat Stevens, and Emmylou Harris. Health problems forced Stewart to sell, and the name was eventually bought by Bob. What made you decide to buy Mossman guitars? I have no earthly idea. <laughs> it seemed like the thing to do at the time. <laughs> Mossman saw Bob's work and was impressed. My name is still on the headstock. And he said, you have my approval. He said, I was very satisfied with what I was seeing. Kind of meant something to me to think about that. Kind of had his endorsement, you know. In 1999, Mossman passed away. So Bob keeps his spirit alive one guitar at a time. Now musicians like Red Steagle and Clay Walker have joined the ranks of Mossman Pickers. Why is it important for you to carry on the Mossman name? He made a mark. His guitars especially have a place in, I don't know what you'd call it, guitar history or whatever. An accident with a table saw has hindered his ability to keep up pace when putting together guitars. They just don't work no more. Man, that's all there is to it. So Bob's enlisted the help of a friend to fill in on rhythm. Now that you're slowing down, you got someone to help you or to help continue the Mossman name? Been sitting right over here, Mike Ostell. Bob and I are kind of like old souls, just separated by a few years. Mike was seeking out the superior sound of perfection, and fate pointed him to Sulphur Springs. I was on the quest for the guitar, the acoustic guitar. Somebody told me, he said, oh, you need to go up to Sulphur Springs. He said, there's these guys making these guitars in a dairy barn up there. They said, there's this killer guitars. And I thought, yeah, 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 yeah. Mike marveled at the melody that made its way out of the Mossman. It was kind of like a drug. It was addictive. I couldn't get enough. Of, you know, I was trying to figure out, well, how, how can this be? I had played some Mossmans here that were better than other Mossmans, but I've never played a bad one. But it's not all about picking away. Mike is doing his best to learn the craft from Bob so that Mossman guitars can continue to make music. So you're learning all these mechanic tricks. I, I'm doing the best I can. <laughs> you know, you know there, there's, a, there's a lot to be said for uh, hands-on experience. And, and the, I will have a long way to go before I can be a Bobby Casey, if ever. But uh, I would certainly like to try. He's the world's best mechanic. He, he knows all the tricks. He knows all the... Oh, it's doing this, so I finesse it this way or finesse it that way and make it work. And if it won't work, he throws it away and starts over. He won't settle for less. In every scrape of wood, Bob seeks the guitar within it. A much different process from the machined, mass-produced guitar most musicians end up with. If you're looking for a good quality, handmade instrument that wasn't laser cut, punched out by a computer, set up in an air jig press, and part of it was made here and part of it was made there, and it was manufactured and it was put together. And It's a great guitar, but it has no soul. It seems these instruments are full of life, breathing, talking, 
and evoking emotion. My mother's eyes light up when I play her an old Kentucky song on a Mossman guitar. And then I think the reason mom's smiling is Bobby Casey built this guitar. Bob stays humble through all of this, just picking away or chipping away depending on his mood. But when he does get a chance to enjoy the fruits of his labor, Bob knows he's hitting all the right chords. Here's something that somebody did that's touching not only one person, but a lot of people and making an impact. If I'm, I'm hopefully able to continue this in the proper manner and continue this line down the road, hopefully it'll touch a few more lives. Mm -hmm.